Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome back to some more. Yes, more Dragon Blaze. Now, before we begin, I do want to address those who've been asking for who are the best units, who are the units to be like focusing on. Here's the issue with Dragon Blaze it really depends on what infinity cards you get. Like, if you, if I ever tell you like a unit that is like pretty much the best unit to aim for. You could end up literally aiming for that unit for like, well, if you're really unlucky, probably like a year or so. Because it's going to be difficult to get that one unit in all their affinity cards. The only thing that we can actually tell you which units are worth actually building, if you ask if you got an affinity card for it. And that's the best we can do when it comes to Dragon Blade. It's just because every unit in the game really depends on what affinity cards you have or how many affinities you can put into them. So it's pretty much RNG at that point. At best I would just recommend you guys ask is this character worth building with this affinity card? That is the absolute best we can give you. Because <laughs> those long term goals can turn into like yearly goals. But anyway, let's get into the patch notes. Patch notes, um, this 26, okay. Ah, Anubis. Oh, dude, Anubis looks sick. Okay, so Anubis releases tomorrow. He's a um, rogue, physical DPS, attacks one enemy with times six damage and afflicts times 12 damage on normal attacks upon crit hit. Ooh, not bad. But times six damage are your normal hits. Okay, okay. I might actually have to build a rogue. <laughs> Even though it's probably just because of his look. If you guys don't know, I think Anubis is my favorite Egyptian god. That's for sure. Okay, first skill. Inflicts damage on one enemy. Inflicts times three damage upon crit. Increases enemy's normal attack received by 68% for hit enemies for 30 seconds. Sex up three times. Okay, second skill. Inflicts damage on one enemy. Inflicts times three damage upon crit. Anubis lets out a roar. His roar increases his melee by 100% and his melee speed by 5% for all allies for 20 seconds. Third skill. Upon entering the battlefield, oh, upon uh, when the battlefield is covered by darkness, Anubis goes, does his death dance. Oh God, I got to deal with the small text again. Where's my glasses? Even though my glasses don't help at all, <laughs> it it really doesn't. Okay, he does his death dance. Attacks his enemies with normal attacks for 11 seconds during the dance of death The new is concealed. Okay, so he's invisible Can only be hit by normal attacks. So skills won't affect the newest at all during these 11 seconds. Okay All normal attacks damage are tripled during dance of death. Okay That's not that bad to be honest and plus, they're actually forcing him to play off his kit because, you know, char normal melee characters or characters who go off their, like, normal melee attacks normally end up using most mostly their skills over the time. So you would be sitting there, let's say, who's a good example? Who's a good example? Christopher. Christopher normally gets most of his damage from his normal attacks just because his skills play off that. But most of the time, you'll be wasting your time using his skills other than his normal melee attacks. With Anubis, with his um, Dance of Death, he won't be focusing just on his first and second skill. He'll just be using his um, normal melees during Dance of Death. So that's going to be perfect for him. That's actually a really good rogue. Okay, so first passive. Anubis inflicts 15 times damage upon normal attacks and times two 
against but no nope. why did I say times two? Times fifteen against bosses. Oh. So it does the first fifteen, then it hits again with another fifteen if it's a boss. Okay. Upon entering the battlefield, Anubis is immune and vulnerable for 10 seconds. Oh, that's going to be real nice for PvP. Increases normal attacks and single attacks for all rogues in a party. Additionally increases for each rogue in a party. Okay, nice. Let's see, increases... Physical attack, dex, and melee attacks. Increases additional boss damage for all rogues. And adventure, well, guild adventure, additionally increases their additional boss by every enhance by 15%. Okay, so this is gonna be really damn good actually for guild adventure. So he's made for guild adventure. Okay, I can see that. Okay, let's see. A pack of jackals. This is his... I think his, um... Wait, I don't know. Max? Oh yeah, that's his max. Okay, so the base version of his max enhance is... In increase the dip Increase the melee damage that enemies receive. When it's maxed... Increase the melee damage enemies receive. Uh, but also increases additional boss damage for guild adventure Okay, let's see what this is uh, This is the ultimate enhance and the base version of the ultimate enhance is increases crit damage by I think 99% is that what that says? For all allies inside of guild adventure The ultimate enhance itself during dance of death Anubis normal attacks become crits oh and cannot miss oh you definitely want to ultimate him now increases Anubis normal attacks his accuracy well I guess you know, well you don't really need the accuracy if he cannot miss at that point I think that should be changed to something else and crit attacks are increased for all allies oh oh uh, never mind it's for all allies I thought I thought it was just ne never mind <laughs> I thought those were just for Anubis but that's for all allies in there. Okay, never mind. Okay, Arch Enhance. Base version of it is increases melee damage. The Arc Enhance itself increases dex for all rogues and additional dex per rogue class inside of your party. Each rogue restores up to 80, 88% of damage dealt, so basically lifesteal. Uh, normal attacks during Dance of Death stun enemies, excluding bosses, for one second. Increases melee received damage for all enemies. Increases your physical attack, your melee attack, and your single target attack when inside of Guild Adventure. Okay, now let's see that bread and butter. What you got, Anubis, for your infinity? Nubis inflicts additional normal damage on every third hit. Jesus Christ. Okay, phones, calm down. Inflicts times two damage again on the boss. Increases main stats. Oh, God. That's actually a lot of main stats for him. Additionally, additional boss damage by... Okay, that's going to be good for each rogue in the party. So, I would recommend just carrying at least two rogues, two or three. Don't don't just carry a whole party of rogues, trust me, it will not work out. They will all die instantly, just because you don't have a tank or a sustain. So that's why I say at least two are fine, or, or three. Just because at least you have that healer and that tank that's taking all that damage. Increases... The main stats and additional boss damage for each rogue inside of Guild Adventure also increases attack for all rogues in a party. Per in per infinity enhanced, you get 48 increased in normal attacks. Okay, infinity abilities that you can choose to level up. 
increase normal, t well, single target damage, increase additional boss damage, or you can increase your normal attacks. I would recommend increasing normal attacks out of that. But let's see. Okay, increase drop rate for certain units. So Anubis is going to be on our event summons. First time purchase and friend invite reset. I haven't even looked at friend invite reset. I need to. I don't even think I actually look at that at all. Transcended pigs are coming back with double points. I'm just going to save those up for tomorrow. Alright, so log in and get these rewards. Once that event starts, guild login bonus upgraded. Okay, so we only got. Okay, so we had 100, now we're getting 200. We had 100 here, 200. Let's see. So we got double that. Wait, hold on, what? That Okay, that didn't change. That's still the same. Uh, more shoes, more tickets. Mm, still the normal same allies. And way more transcendent essence. Special login has been extended. Thank God, because I need to start logging. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm looking forward to a newest though. But now we have summons. Yes, yes, the summons. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a separate summons. Okay. I think I was looking at something else. At least I think so. Anyhow. We have a lot of summons just because of these events, man. I am down to get into them. Let's see how many. Okay, so we have nine free summons. Jesus. What are we getting? Dude, why do I keep getting her? Every time. I just keep getting her. You guys have seen how many times I get that one overlord. It's always her. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. Another soul. I think they made her easier to get, actually. Which I'm happy about. Just because that helps out with the expanding. Ah, terrible one. What you got? What you got? Ow. Ow, my soul. Literally. Jesus. Come on, give me a better one. We need some good ones out here. Where's the infinity cards at? Oh, there they are. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. Why not? Actually, I haven't done the reroll before, so let's, let's do it. I want to see what it looks like. Oh. Yeah, that's actually pretty dope. I'll actually take that, to be honest. Just because she's actually pretty decent. Nothing good out of that. I don't think we got anything out of that either. Yeah. I think we probably have at least one or two more. Uh, ow. Ow. Jeez, at least I wasn't the last one. Jeez. What else? Come on, give me something good. Dude, thank you. See? That wasn't so hard. Um, how am I get replaced? Because I don't use him at all. And I don't plan on using him. I'll take it. That versus how I would definitely take it. Alright. <laughs> Ooh, delicious tickets. Didn't this have like a certain time limit too? Hold up. When does this expire? Okay, so that expires next month. So we're good. We can keep a hold on to that. And just collect those. 
But yeah. That is basically it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, here's all the ones I have. So I haven't built nut yet. I, I thought about building her. I really did. But I don't do 10 man arena too often. <laughs> I was trying to say. So what is she mostly used in? Cause I haven't used her in like so damn long. I only used her like once. Once ever. Alright, where you at? Where is you at? Probably all the way in the back. There she is. Info. So I can get her to Overlord. Alright, buff removal. Oh yeah, the whole block enemy hills thing. Oh, that, that could be really damn good. Oh yeah, and the death immunity thing for her. Okay, I forgot about her for a while now. I, I remember a few of her skills now. She was like debuff removing, cleansing, and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out. See you guys on the next video. Oh my god, progression. Just waiting on them to finish off the story.